Hello and welcome to a special edition of Inside Warwick Sports. Today, I'm joined by former Warhawk basketball head coach, Hank Miller. Coach, you were here 22 seasons as a basketball head coach at Whitewater. And with this past year being one of the most successful in your career, why retire now? You know, there's a lot of reasons. I've, uh, I've actually been at Whitewater for 34 out of the last 37 years. I was a student here. I uh, took a short break. I played basketball in Europe for a season, and then I taught high school for two years. So, you know, cumulatively, I've been here a long time. Um, as you reach the, the tail end of your career, you know, I've been in the state system 30 years. So probably the last couple of years, I've, I've been looking at other alternatives. You know, I don't want to retire. I want to continue to work, and, and I wanted some options. And an option uh, presented itself that you know, kind of went on throughout the summer, and it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's people I know, trust, it's things I'm gonna enjoy doing. So, you know, ideally, I would like to have stayed probably one more year with this group, but um, timing-wise, it was just the, the right time at, at this point. You've won a few national championships, both as a player and as a coach here in Whitewater. What is that like to be on such a national stage? Well, it's great, and that, that's the ultimate goal, and, you know, navigating that. Certainly, getting there as a player was helpful because you understand what was going on with the team, the, the level of momentum. And what I learned from a, a coaching perspective is sometimes you just, you have to let the players do do what it is they, they need to do, that they have the momentum, they have the confidence. You don't want to overcoach. You don't want to disrupt them. And, you know, I was always very cognizant of that. Coach Vandermeulen um, prepared us very well. Our pregames were the same, whether it was a non-conference game in January during break or the national championship game. There was a level of consistency. and. That's what I've always believed in is that whether you're taking the floor for a non-conference game or practice or the national championship game, you approach it the same way. And I think that has served us well. And, you know, you, you have to be lucky. You know, it, it, there, there's over 400 teams in Division Three. There's a lot of great programs. Um, you know, and I appreciate a lot the fact that I've been able to be part of national championships. There's programs that have put you know, humongous resources into basketball that have never won one. And they've been close and they've been good and um, they haven't gotten it done. So I, I'm appreciative to, to have had those types of successes. Um, in the two games we won, both amazing games. You know, the Cordell Young layup in 2014 at the buzzer um, was amazing. Probably the best NCAA tournament game of the year, all divisions. And then, you know, coming back in 2012 from, I think we were down 16 or 18 with 11 minutes to go uh, was another one that was exciting. So having the chance to win them was amazing. Winning them in the fashion we did was pretty amazing. Um, but again, that, that goes back to the players. And one thing I always told our guys, hey, I don't want the credit when you win. That's on you. You know, when you go out and you don't win, that's also on you. I, I don't necessarily know that that's my fault either. But it, it's a player's game, and I've always believed that. And, and tried to put the you know the wherewithal to the players you know you guys will give you structure we'll try to get the ball where we think it needs to go and then it's up to you to make plays and, and get wins and fortunately we've had great players here and that's that's been the cornerstone of our program we've, we've had exceptional athletes guys willing to sacrifice it's and and to win at that level you have good players that are sacrificing their own productivity uh, and, and the beset of the team and, and we're fortunate to have had that